Hey, what's up guys? Dan here and I'm here with one of my students, Susan, and uh, she's been in the Econ Freedom course since almost the very beginning. So I'm super happy and honored to be interviewing her today. And uh, hi, Susan. Hi. And so, hi, yeah, and so we're going to be sharing your story today. We're going to be talking about your journey and then how you found out about uh, online business, Amazon FBA, why you decided to do it. And so just basically take us through from the very beginning, like, you know, um, how did you find out about Amazon FBA? And before we get to that, actually, uh, how are you doing now with it, with online well, business? Well, um, after two or three um, products that just didn't go anywhere, um, I finally found this product and I've been selling it since October. Um, and from the very beginning, I just, I must have hit the right niche or, or uh, the, the right product. And um, it just started selling without um, without any PPC or uh, jump send or launching or anything like that, which was great. Awesome. I gave it another um, another shot. This time I, um, you know, I did more branding and I got uh, my logo and I got um, trademarked. For my logo and I put had the logo right on the product and um, did a, a card that you that included and to say thank you and please you know leave a leave a review mm -hmm. and it just seemed to hit the right market because it's it's for um, well I, I think it appeals to older people and it's for larger like a plus size kind of product I'm not gonna say what the product is yeah but, you don't have to and we'll, and we'll get into that like the details yeah. and things uh, so what about uh, revenue uh, what, what kind of revenue are you seeing revenue uh, this January has been the best month I just finished January at 16,500 awesome and yeah. that's in US dollars US dollars okay yeah. awesome. and it's a very very good profit margin so I'm very happy I'm probably netting uh, 12 16,500 yeah. in revenue for January. And now take us through from the very beginning, how you found out about online business, Amazon FBA, what made you want to do it? And then maybe some of the obstacles that you faced at the beginning uh, in mm -hmm. your situation, and then all the way through to now. Okay. Um, I've always done entrepreneurial stuff um, from early age. Um, and on and off, I've done, I've rented out Airbnb rooms, I've, you know, started um, other businesses, and, and uh, my husband and I have a, had a software business uh, that didn't go anywhere. Um, so I got to, you know, this age, and uh, my, um, I just want to be able to work from anywhere, and I want to be able to travel. I needed a, a location um, independent kind of business and I thought well I'm just I'm gonna give it you know I'm gonna give it everything I've got and, and see if I can get to that and um, I had some money um, set aside and so I thought well I'm gonna just invest that and um, and keep going I would like to get to the point where my husband could also uh, not have to work because he's a little older than me um, and he he generally works contract um, consulting, and he's right now just finished a, finished a contract, and there is no other contract yet. And I think you know if we could manage to not have him do that anymore, that would be great. Uh, if not, then you know I at least I will be able to do some of the things that. That I like to do, which is, you know, I like to go spend um, time in Mexico, and I like to RV. Um, I was in Italy and UK in the in the spring. I just, uh, it was just a dream that I would like to have an income that I can take anywhere, and I don't need like a million dollars. I don't need, you know, thirty thousand a month or anything like that. I just thought I, if I can get to ten thousand a month. Um, income, then that would probably make me happy. And um, so it seems like I'm there now. Um, I have reordered um, 2,000 more of my product. 
which I won't get till now after after Chinese New Year's. So, but there's enough in there to keep going. I have a different kind of mindset to to many people my age or my or women, and I like to be very very independent. I'm just a very independent person. I'm very analytical, and I like to. I'm not afraid of taking a risk. I'm not afraid of putting in effort and and that kind of thing. So, yeah, it's worked out. And now at the very beginning. Uh, when you were just starting to look for a way to get that freedom, to look for a passive mm-hmm. income, um, what made you choose Amazon specifically out of everything else? You. Okay. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just, I, I've been, I had been watching and, you know, uh, looking at all kinds of ways of making money online, and um, some of them appealed to me, and some of them didn't, and I, I watched one of your very probably very first videos and before you even had the course actually and um, well wow. yeah it was it was like early October I think in 2017 um, yeah and I just liked your you're just straightforward it's you know there I don't like a lot of complications and explanations and um, you know blah 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 <laughs> So, which a lot, a lot of the guys do. It just seemed, okay, this seems like the best viable option uh, for me. And I liked, uh, I liked you and I liked your training. And I'm kind of a, a person that likes to self, self-teach myself. So having, having just, a, you know, your videos and to watch all those, through those and just, you know, learn as I went, um, that suits me. That suits me well. Because I, I don't. I don't need a lot of hand holding, and I liked it that I could just refer back when I had a, you know, I could refer to you one of one of your videos if I was at that point in the process. And your just your enthusiasm, and I thought, what a cool kid, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. twenty one years yeah. old. I wish I I wish my voice were as entrepreneurial as you. So, uh, but they're doing now. well. <laughs> that's that's great to hear. I don't think that you know. Uh, I used to say that everybody should be an entrepreneur, and I still kind of think that way. But you know what? It's not for everybody, I guess. Even no, though it's not. It's not for everybody. So I do believe that everybody should strive to live their dream life. However, I've realized that for many people, um, their dream life doesn't involve the ups and downs of entrepreneurship and the just the lifestyle. I mean, of course, it's it's risk, risk versus reward. That's what entrepreneurship is. And so mm-hmm. you know, um, I'm sure that. Uh, for example, like your sons and, you know, they're happy doing what they, what they're doing. And there's a reason they chose it. Right. But I was, for me, like before I started entrepreneurship, I was just lost. And it seemed in my life, I didn't really know why I was doing the things I was doing. So, you know, working at the bank and all this kind of stuff. And so I was like, why am I even doing this? So that's when I realized, okay, well, I have no other choice than to become an entrepreneur. So that's why it was like that for me. But, um, it's incredibly inspiring, uh, you know, how you, um, how old are you? 60. 60 years old. So at 60 years yeah. old, how, you know, you, you just, you said, you know what, it doesn't matter. Like, even though, even though I'm 60 and everything, like how much experience did you have with specifically maybe like, I don't know, um, working on your computer, uh, like a computer type business, online business. Did you oh, have anything before? I'm very, very, very computer literate. Um, okay. and, and I'm, I'm an online person. I, you know, my whole life is, done online. I'd also had, you know, a lot of experience with just basic entrepreneurship, but I'd had no experience selling on Amazon and I didn't, I didn't know how that worked. Mm -hmm. I was very keen on it and I had the time, uh, last or 2016 October. Um, I had decided that I wasn't going to go. My, my husband was here, uh, on contract and I decided uh, that I wasn't going to go to Mexico because I usually go to Mexico even by myself. It's like tons of friends there. Um, and I was going to stay here and spend the winter getting this going. And, uh, and how yeah. has it been through those? Uh, you mentioned that at the beginning some of your products uh, had failed. And so yeah. were you, um, like, what were the reasons now looking back in hindsight? What were some of the reasons that? The products failed was it the product itself or was it uh something you did or was it you know something with to do with competition or 
I think the well, the very very first one you told me not to do, and I did. So okay. there's <laughs> there's that independent woman. Okay. Um, and, 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 and if you don't mind me asking, if you don't mind me asking, why did you do it, even though I told you not to do it? Ask my husband why <laughs> why I do things, even though I'm told not to. I just I don't know. I just. And very independent thinking. Okay, and, that's uh, good. That's good. I think it's important. Like, if someone, even if I tell you, you know, to do something, and yes, I'm your, you know, mentor for Amazon FBA. But I think it's important. Like, so many people just blindly accept advice. Mm -hmm. You know. I just thought I, I'm going to order. I ordered 240 of scratch off maps, world maps. Okay. And I thought, well, that's not, you know, a big amount, and I'll give it a shot. And it's my first product, and I'll learn a lot, and. I didn't do professional photos. I was learning more, you know, about the listing part of it and so on. So, um, the 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 scratch off map, I just didn't put enough into it, and it was very very competitive, and I just could not get anywhere, you know, anywhere past like page fifteen. <laughs> um, but I learned a ton from that one. And um, when they got down to about 30 left in stock, I sent them to my sister's house in the U.S. And uh, I think I started another product at the same time. Oh, the bath toy organizer um, to hang on a wall uh, in a bathtub for kids. So that was a baby product. Again, there was two or three huge competitors that were very well established and had brand recognition and all that kind of stuff so I went up against them and I I didn't sell enough of those um, and you selling people, anything? Were, people were complaining they fall off the wall you know with the stickers and I I had the, the supplier put um, extra 3m stickers so the suction cups go over the yeah anyway um, learned a ton with that I think I think I sold. I, I think I sold out. I just put the price down and just broke even out out of those ones. Or I had the maybe some remaining that I had removal a removal order for. So I didn't really want to have to keep them. Um, and then the third anyway, product is the one that you uh, succeeded with, right? The third no. The third the third product is still up. Um, it, it's still selling slowly. I did have professional photos done, and it is in my brand registry. Um, it, it has my logo on it. Again, it's a very, um, it's a very, very competitive product that got more competitive once I got the, once I got the product. Because you know it takes six weeks or something like that to, to launch your product, and by then there was everybody was jumping in. So I guess it was one of those things that came up on um, Jungle Scout that. Everybody said, "Oh, that looks good," and uh, I had it. I had a unique design to it. I had somebody on Fiverr do a unique design, so it's still there. But I'm just again. Um, I have a price, so it's just selling slowly and selling out. I'm not going to do that one again. Yeah, now that I'm brand registered, Amazon did a uh, thing where it was like a the daily deal. Uh, they offered it to me. You can do a daily deal thing at the bottom of the pa first page. If you sell your product for this amount, and uh, which I did for I think a couple of weeks, they they had it on, and that really moved products. So that was breaking even. That was about about an amount of breaking even. And then before that, be, uh, as that's going on, I started a the, the fourth product. And that's the one. That's, that's the one. Okay. So yeah. now throughout that journey, were there ever times where you were like? you know, I don't know if this is going to work for me. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. And how did you do, like, what, what were you telling yourself then? I, I, I found this fourth product and I looked on, you know, I was doing all the research on, you know, competitors and that kind of thing. And I, I noticed that there were very, very few, uh, maybe one or two main competitors that had, a, a similar kind of a similar product there weren't very many for plus size I see and and um, I talked you know my age group I talked to people they all wear this 
kind of product um, and I had a nice I thought you know what I'm if I just put the nice logo on and it's uh, done really well with pictures and I did get some really really good pictures from James Vanderpant mm -hmm. uh, for it and um, he's the photographer uh, by the way for those watching in, in uh, yeah in he's Max, yeah. he's in New York so he did my uh, f my third product photos and he did my fourth fourth uh, product photos and I just, I'm going to give it another shot. You know? He actually is also doing well on, I interviewed him as well. Um, yeah. I interviewed him, it was a couple months back now. But yeah, he also, um, he was in the course for a while and then he persisted and then, yeah, he, he became successful mm -hmm. with it. So, um, you know, I've noticed that a lot of, uh, just in general and for those listening, a lot of people, they invest into online education and courses and things like that. You know, you can't expect that you will be making money in like within, you know, three weeks or four weeks, right? And although the marketing may make it seem that way, right? It's marketing. That's what, like, and that's just the truth about it. But you know what? Like for me, I had my first product fail. My second, my first product failed because I was trying to do it on Amazon Canada and Health Canada didn't let it go in. Uh, and then uh, my second product failed just because it was too competitive and then it broke even eventually. And then my third product succeeded. And this was back in 2017. Um, and so, uh, since that point, I've seen so many Jungle Scout screenshots. I've done so much product research. It's like, you know, I can just tell pretty much right away. But yeah, yeah. you know, what I've realized is a lot of people, they just, they give up so soon, like give up just short of success. And it's not even just in Amazon, but like in anything. So mm -hmm. it's, 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 you know, I'm seeing a pattern here, but um, that's awesome. So, so right now you've got the product, so you're brand registered. So you, you can't, you, you know, you're, you're locked in and you have a trademark, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah. and was it hard to get that trademark? It actually, I didn't. I didn't trademark the um, the logo. I trademarked a, a word in my in my trademark. Okay, and you did that yeah. in the USA. I did. I did that myself because I've done it before for other businesses. So oh, I knew how to yourself. get. I knew how to get a trademark. You didn't go through like a lawyer or anything like that. No. Okay. Just the U USPTO website. Um, and you know, it took about six months, I'd say, to get to get it approved. Because so that was up, right? that was probably approved. Yeah, I think I got that in um, October or November of this year or last year. So okay. just before just before Christmas. So yeah, so I, I I did the whole brand registry, and then you can do more stuff, you know, for um, marketing. But I hardly have to do any any marketing. If I I think if I went and did more marketing then i'd run out of product and that's so that's the the issue right now is that i need to kind of i've actually put price up uh yeah, just to. just a bit to to keep the the sales slow down but they're still really good like um last yesterday was 28 pair um 28 sales um and today i'm up to 17 or something like that so and, and they just, uh, what's that like how much is that revenue in, in a day 28 or whatever they're 22 dollars oh, so okay. that's, that's about four four hundred five hundred i don't 28 times 22 it's 616 okay 616 yes and so, so are you running ppc for that or anything no so that's basically pure profit i mean uh, minus the product cost minus the product cost and the Piece now, okay, so you got the product in, and this is very interesting. So many people think that, and I mean, I'll obviously in the course I talk about the best launch strategies, the best PPC, all the best stuff you need to know. Now, you said that you didn't actually use any PPC and you didn't use any launch strategies. So, when you brought the product in, how I mean, it was on page whatever 72, right? So, or 19, or I don't know, you know, how did you how did it move? It, you know, it just went up. I think I did an auto, yes, I did an auto oh. camp. But it seemed as so as soon as the product went up because it has that um, that keyword phrase that kind of distinguishes it from I see the other regular so it's large or XXL or plus uh, it narrows what people are looking for so if they're looking for this and they don't want the regular sizes this came up pretty quickly. Okay. And every every keyword that I wanted, 
um, it's it's on first page now. So it's um, and it, it didn't take very long. It really didn't take very long. I think I think it was just the right product at the right time with the, with good photos and uh, you know I'd learned all about doing my listing. Yeah, I don't know. It just I guess I just did my just start selling. Just start selling. I picked After the right you product. put in all that work, in, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. so now, where are you at now? Like, what are your plans for the future with uh, this product? Maybe with Amazon? Are you going to build a brand out of it? Are you going to go out of Amazon? Maybe Shopify? Like, what's going on? Um, what I decided, um, this comes in one color right now. Um, I've ordered uh, a second color of it. So I've got a thousand more coming in the original color and a thousand in the new color. Um, so it'll be um, adding a variation. Right now, until I get through the medical issues, um, that's all I'm going to do uh, for now. And um, somewhere, somewhere in the spring, I might look at, you know, another related product. I, I haven't really done any research on it because I'm quite happy <laughs> with how it's doing. So, yeah. um, you know, I don't want to be like somebody that has like, you know, 50 SKUs and <laughs> yeah, like a superstar, yeah. <laughs> just just enough to fund my travels and live wherever I want to live and expensively. I don't I don't need to buy a big house or a big car or or anything like that. I'm very into minimalism and um, you know it's it's experiences over things for me, at, especially at, at my age. Like I would just like to be able to do more of that kind of stuff. Yeah. So um, just briefly, I uh, discovered I had colon cancer in October. And uh, while I was in Mexico, I had a colonoscopy there. And uh, because it's faster than getting it done in Canada. Yeah, it takes too long and, in Canada. Uh, Everybody talks about our health oh, care. Yeah. 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 It's, it just, I was supposed to have it in the summer. It just kept getting delayed and delayed. So, I had it done in Mexico. Um, I did decide to come back up though for the for the uh, treatment um, surgery, and um, I'm I'm just lined up now to uh, have uh, a week of radiation next week, and then the surgery on the 11th. Everything looks good. It hasn't spread. There's no. It's early stage, so I'm very very positive about it. It's a kind of scary, you know. It's always kind of scary so um it's a new totally new kind of experience for me i don't i've never had major illness so um you know you hit 60 and things start to go i guess <laughs> but, but uh, uh, yeah, yeah no i feel very positive and um i think um you know six weeks six week recovery all goes well i should be able to go back down to mexico for a bit so and uh, I really appreciate you sharing that with the audience because um, you mentioned like you had a medical issue and I mean you discovered this after you started Amazon um, so you discovered this in October so it was quite some time and um, obviously it was a shock and now, yeah it was a year after I started yeah I, yeah and so you know now at this point um, with with I mean you're still running your business during this right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, and I completely understand like, you know, there, right now you want, you don't want to have 10 products that you have to worry about going through this or a hundred products, but, yeah. um, you know, of course I hope everything goes well. It's like incredibly tough to go through this. And unfortunately so many people, uh, especially in the Western society, like, mm -hmm. you know, I, I was not born in Canada. I was born in Europe and this is more of a thing in, uh, Western society for sure. I don't know if it has to do with the food. We're not going to get into that, but, um, I hope everything goes well, and I think Thank it's you. incredibly I, I always talk about positive thinking. I think it's incredibly important to stay positive because um, I don't know, you know, I'm not a doctor or anything like that, but I think it certainly can have an effect because a person can really easily get into a negative uh, feedback loop, oh, yeah. you know, and they can start thinking, oh, well, why is everything stacked against me, all this, right? Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so of, of course I hope everything goes well, and I appreciate you sharing that. So now moving forward, um, do you have any specific goals with um, Amazon, or is it just to keep what you have, and that's good? My goal is to have enough that both Mike and I can, you know, um, 
semi-retire, mm -hmm. uh, travel. Um, he he like he loves to work. He likes his work, but you know he's done it the same work for a long time. And um, I'm he's very creative. I think he can find other things. Um, he's he's looked at Shopify for for himself, mm -hmm. and um, but he's just very busy with with work, and so. What I would recommend you, what I would recommend yeah. you do is out, uh, clearly you've offered a huge improvement in your target market uh, with your mm -hmm. product, right? So there's a reason why you started selling without PPC and without any launch strategies. So what I would do is, you know, of course, when you have when, when you're successful like you are right now, uh, people start seeing it and then competitors will come in because you've created this new thing and this new improvement, people will see the improvement, they'll do it. So when I'm, but you're a brand register, so you're kind of locked in, which by the way, for everybody listening, it means nobody can hijack um, uh, Susan's listing. So mm -hmm. it's huge. It's like you need it to, you need the trademark to get brand registered, but as soon as you're brand registered, a lot of the problems with Amazon go away. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, so what I would say is, this is, I mean, you can really just also start uh, a Shopify store uh, on your own website, start a brand mm -hmm. selling just this product, and that way you also mitigate risk. So you're not only on Amazon. Um, Amazon's amazing because obviously you're getting all these customers for free. You don't have to pay for these customers unless it's PPC. On Shopify, you have to find your own customers. However, mm -hmm. with Shopify, uh, and something that I've learned, and um, you know, you're, you're, if your Amazon goes away, then you still have your Shopify. With there, you can have an e email list, right? You sell the same product, right? You, have an, an e uh, you can build an email list. You can promote to people uh, new products, discounts, things like that. At a certain point, you have enough people on your email list, you can pretty much um, literally just launch products like that. You get sales overnight, right? With, e with an email list, you're printing money. That's, that's what it's known in the internet world. With an email list, you print money. So that's, what, that's my best recommendation for you because right now, you need to like solidify, and I know it's difficult going through your medical condition and things like that, but I also believe that, I mean, statistics show, and I know this is a very controversial thing to say, but statistics show that when a person loses purpose in their life, and when a person stops to strive towards something, their chances of death are much higher. So um, I think that it's important to s strive towards something. And so clearly you have something that's working, right? Yeah. So yeah. Do you have? Anything? I I think that's I think that's a I think that's a good idea actually. And I'll probably. Uh, and I'll help you out with it, of course. Like you know. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 mean, I could. I, I'm open to suggestions on complimentary products. Um, not and right we'll, now, but you we'll know, talk about it future. after the after the interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's what but I I've done. I did. I did buy an existing Shopify store um, because I wanted to try it, and uh, it had already had like a year's worth of revenue mm -hmm. and uh, doing very well. And it, um, uh, I just it, that's just me. I have to try things, so I tried. That's good. Uh, that's how you become I, successful. Yeah, I tried it for for three months. Um, so I guess break broke even. Um, it was making really really good revenue, but it's also costing. Um, the product cost was. But that's in a totally separate niche than what you're in with Amazon, right? Uh, oh, totally. Yeah. Well, kind of related, but it's for it was for younger women. Okay. Uh, and yeah. not, not plus size women. The key to success for you is going to be to take what you've done on Amazon and it's going to be to uh, take that and bring it to Shopify and then that's where you will uh, be able to also get way more sales because then you can, and I can show you how to target people on Facebook and things like that. I've got videos on Shopify on my channel but I'll also, um, I, I've been mentoring Susan since the beginning like through Facebook chat. Uh, so I mean, I hope that was helpful. I assume it was. Uh, oh yeah. 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 So. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm just the person that it's like, well, should I ask Dan or should I just figure this out? I'll figure it out. <laughs> okay. That's that's just me. But um, but yeah, that's a, that's a good option um, to to do this another Shopify store, but just for this product. Um, that's a good idea. Yeah, and I'll definitely help you with that. So now, do you have any advice that you want to share to anybody going into this or to online business in general? Maybe people that are people that are out there that also want to live like. Uh, like yourself, the freedom lifestyle, because that's what it is. It doesn't matter if it's a million dollars or if, it, or if it's just enough to travel. It's freedom. So yeah. um, do you have any advice that you're willing to share uh, that has helped you get to where you are today? Yeah. Um, in my opinion, I think you need a minimum of um, 
a minimum of about three thousand dollars to have in your back pocket and have some you know it shouldn't be uh, everything that you've got you're just you're just putting on in on the line because it's kind of a risky thing to do for a, a new person um, and take a course take dance course absolutely you cannot do this you know yourself there is so much to this uh, and you're, you're not you're probably not going to be succeed with your first product just accept it you're not probably not going to um, so don't give up if you're if you're doing this if, if this really means a lot to you in terms of freedom and, and uh, you know you don't want to work a nine-to-five job anymore you really really want this you have to really really want it don't give up just don't give up reach out for help Absolutely. when you need it yeah and I love that number one thing is don't give up if you don't give up you can't fail so well yeah if you give up you then you fall you fail yeah. so Exactly. Yeah. And now, um, with you mentioned uh, with Ecom Freedom, with the Ecom Freedom course, back then it was actually known as the Amazon Freedom course. Um, and uh, you mentioned that without that, you would like you would have not been able to do this. No. And um, and even and, even me, a self starter. You would have not. And so, what is your opinion on you know people out there that say, oh, I'm going to do this. I don't need to invest in the course. I'm just going to go and do this and hit six figures myself and just do it from YouTube videos or whatever. I'm sure it's been done, but um, you're going to spend a, a lot of time finding the right information, finding the the right videos. You're going to get conflicting information. Um, yeah, it's just invest your 500 bucks. You know, it's it's really really worth it. And I appreciate you saying that, by the way, because I mean, I mean, I, I think you you realize, but I really pour, poured my heart and soul into this into econ freedom. I don't have yeah. any other uh, courses or anything at this point that I'm that I'm uh, making this video. But um, yeah. you know, I've grown it from zero, and then now I have over four thousand uh, people, tons of success stories, and so. Um, mm -hmm. Unfortunately, a lot of most people that don't end up being successful is just because they failed and I can't control I mean, it's just because they give up rather than they fail mm -hmm. and I can't control whether someone gives up or not So, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, the ones like But this. you know, I have to give kudos to people who even try Yeah You know, because 99% of people will not try Maybe they'll buy the course but they won't even pull the trigger on the first product Right Yeah, so So, so and that's what that's what got to me when I first launched my first product. It's like, okay, you are one of a rare breed. You actually pulled the trigger yeah. and invested in a product. Mm -hmm. So and so you did yeah. that early. Yeah, you did that. Uh, early. You did that early. Like you invested yeah. into your first product early. Therefore, you failed early. So like, it's important yeah. to fail fast. If you're gonna fail, fail fast, and you're probably gonna fail on your first product, like you said. Uh, so mm -hmm. of course, like there are people well, that succeed sure. on their first product, but obviously it's the minority because you mm -hmm. know. And also, I always say this, but if people don't take a course, they're gonna make mistakes. Like investing into restricted products, you put in three thousand dollars, you put it into a restricted product, and it's banned. Mm -hmm. And Amazon pulls it, and says no, and the supplier obviously won't give you your money back because the stock's already in there. So what's cheaper, yeah. a four ninety seven investment? Uh, or a three thousand dollar mistake, which is going to set you back time. It's not about the money; it's about the time, right? Mm -hmm. So, right. yeah, and I, I think you agree with that. So, and what about the mentoring specifically? Because I know that I'm one of the only uh, people with an mm -hmm. Amazon course that teaches how to go from zero to profitable, profitable Amazon FBA business. You know that I'm one of the only people, or I think I'm actually I'm the only one that respond mm -hmm. has responded to every single person since the very beginning, right? Yeah. So has that. that how has that helped? That's that's the other reason I chose your course was was the mentoring, okay. for sure. Awesome. Yeah. No, I I think um, I I you know there's all kinds of courses out there, thousands of dollars. Uh, you don't get the mentoring, and um, it, you know it's just your your course is uh, yours is the best as far as I'm concerned. Awesome. I'm sure people will argue about that <laughs> but uh, people always argue people always argue. And, and oh and the other thing was I like I like that you were Canadian so okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> awesome yeah all right well thank you very much for sharing your story and uh, it was incredibly inspiring and also you know especially with 
what you've been facing recently. Um, you know, I hope that you keep your head up. You seem like a, I mean, you don't seem, I mean, I, you are an incredibly strong woman for having figured this out too. When so many people, they say they, they can't figure it out, they give up. You didn't give up. So I really, really honor that. And I appreciate you coming on today. Maybe any, any last, last things you want to share with anybody watching today? You know, I think you need, you need to have the right mindset and you need to have patience. And Mindset and patience. Patience, yeah. You need patience um, because you can get frustrated very easily. And um, so, you know, if you have if you have the personality type that can experience um, struggles and keep on going, then you'll you you will do well. Awesome. You will do well. Awesome. Well, thank yeah. you very much, Susan. Okay. Uh, Thank you. And uh, I hope everybody watching this enjoyed the interview. This has been, uh, I would say, a different interview than all the other ones that I've done. Every single oh. one, has, every well, every single one has been different, but this one was yeah. more like it, it, just because of your own story. It, it, it's different than everybody else's, and especially like you were in the course for so long, and you just kept kept at it, kept at it. So anyway, one one thing I would like to say to to younger people, because that's mostly your your um, audience. Mm -hmm. You should be trying to do this kind of thing when you're young. If you're not, you're wasting, you're wasting your life. Try it while you're young. You've got lots of time to make up for, it, for your mistakes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely agree, 100%. And I tried. I dropped out of school and I tried. I realized that. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's, it's worked yeah. out. It's worked out well um, for me. And so, yeah, I mean... I'm grateful that I tried. <laughs> but anyway, uh, for everybody watching, subscribe to the channel. And then, uh, yeah, leave a comment, leave a like on the video. Uh, once again, thank you, Susan. And thank uh, you. I'll talk to you right after this.